Welcome to the lecture on sampling techniques. In the previous lecture, we discussed about different concerns for selection of samples. Mainly, we can categorize sampling techniques into two categories, probability sampling and non-probability sampling. In probability sampling, we involve random process for selection of samples. If you can the previous example, if you need to calculate the mean, if you select the individuals for the samples, your friends or the people who support you or the people who are working in your environment, it may be biased. So we need to take them in random. Also, in probability sampling, we take a representative sample. That means, once we describe the sample, we should be able to describe the population. So, simply in non-probability sampling, we do not consider the randomness and we do not consider this representativeness. Also, there is a very important mathematical part that is, we apply the something called sampling theory. What is sampling theory? That is a mathematical process which I will omit because this lecture series is for non-mathematical students. In non-probability sampling, we don't apply the sampling theory. You might wonder if it is not random, not representative, not applying sampling theory, why do we need non-probability sampling? During the lectures on non-probability sampling techniques, I will discuss why do we need non-probability sampling techniques? What are the different probability sampling techniques? One is simple random sampling. Second one, stratified random sampling. Systematic sampling, sometimes we call it as systematic random sampling. And we have cluster sampling. All these are one state sampling process. We go to population and we do sampling once and take the sample to the research. But in most of the time, in practical situation, only one sampling technique may not be enough. In such case, we go for multi-state sampling. In multi-state sampling, we can have several stages. In those stages, we can have combination of these techniques or cluster day cluster sampling two times, stratified random sampling two times, like that we can have a combination or individual sampling techniques but more than one stage. Let's consider what are the non-probability sampling techniques. What are the non-probability sampling techniques? Unlike probability sampling techniques, different books have mentioned different types of names and different techniques for non-probability sampling. All those theories are based on the objective of the research. I will give you one classification, but if, when you are reading books, you may see some different types of classifications. Here's a non-probability sampling technique. We have quota sampling technique and purposive sampling technique, volunteer sampling technique, haphazard damp sampling technique. And purposive sampling, there are several types of purposive samplings like extreme case, typical case, heterogeneous, homogeneous, theoretical, critical case, many types. And volunteer technique, when they are volunteering, it is not random. We have snowball technique and self-selection technique. Haphazard, no proper way of sampling. One of the main important thing is convenient sampling. There are so many other sampling techniques that we can discuss under non-probability sampling. We will discuss all these things under non-probability sampling lecture series. Let's move into individual sampling techniques in next few lectures.